Hey guys, I'm T and welcome to the channel. If you're new here, we make trendy and fun crochet tutorials twice a week. And if you haven't already, smash that like button, drop a comment below, and subscribe to join in on the fun. Today I'll be showing you how to make an elegant basket weave cardigan. There's a lot of newness with this one. Besides being my first basket weave cardigan, which was surprising, it's also my first shoulder band, which I'm very excited about now, but especially for the future. Speaking of, if you're looking to awesome crochet projects to make in the future, you're in the right place. We've got hundreds of modern crochet designs with much more coming, so consider clicking the bell to subscribe and you'll never miss an upload. Also, do me a huge favor and give this video a big thumbs up if you like it, or two thumbs down if you don't. Either way, it's a great way to show support so I can keep putting out free tutorials every Wednesday and Sunday. Now it's time to get on the show, so without further ado, for this project, any Category 4 yarn will work, but I used a total of 905 grams of yarn. That's a total of 1,600 yards, and the individual measurements will be on the screen. Hazard tools, a 5 and 6 millimeter hook, scissors, stitch markers, and a tape measure. There is a written pattern down below. Use offer code TCDDIY for a discount off any $9.99 plus order. And enter this week's pattern giveaway by telling us your favorite fruit juice. We actually don't drink fruit juice anymore, but as a kid, apple was definitely my favorite. Details for the giveaway down below. We're using five stitches for this project, and they'll be as follows. Chain. Slip stitch. Single crochet. Half double crochet. Double crochet. and treble crochet. This tutorial is for size small, but you can adjust it for your size, and we explain all to in the video, so let's get started. Getting the stutter started, we're first going to grab our category 4 yarn and make a slip knot. Next, we're going to grab our 6mm hook, and we're all going to start by making a chain that's in multiples of 6 that reaches from mid-chest over to the tip of our shoulder. So I need a total of 8 inches or 20 centimeters, so I'm going to start by making a chain of 30. Now that we have our chain, we're going to do an extra two chains, and that's going to count as the base chain. So here's one, here's two, and then right after our two extra chains, we're going to block off that last chain, and then do a chain three. Now we just want the height for the following row. This doesn't count as a stitch, and what we're going to do is double crochet into that chain that we blocked off, or the fourth chain from our hook. So we're going to yarn over, insert our hook into that fourth chain, yarn over, and pull through. Now that we have those three loops on our hook, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and now we're going to get started on our diagonal basket weave stitch. So our diagonal basket weave stitch is going to be worked in sets of three treble crochets. So let's get that started. To do our treble crochet, we're going to start with a yarn over of two. So there's one, and there's two. Right after our double crochet that we did, we're going to be skipping the following three chains. So here's one, here's two, here's three. Into that fourth chain from our double crochet, we're going to insert with our first treble crochet. So go ahead and bring your hook down into that fourth chain, yarn over, and pull through that chain. Now that we have four loops on our hook, we're going to yarn over and pull through two until we have one loop left on our hook. So yarn over, pull through the first two, yarn over, pull through the next two, and then yarn over, pull through the last two. And this is what we should have. Right after our first treble crochet, we're going to be putting one more treble crochet into each of the following two stitches as well. So to do that again, we're going to yarn over twice, and then into that next chain, we're going to insert our hook with another treble crochet. So yarn over, pull through two, pull through two, pull through two, and then one more into that following chain. So yarn over twice, into that chain, pull through, pull through two, pull through two, and pull through two. Now this is what we should have. Once we have this, we still have these three chains that we skipped over. Now we're going to be putting one treble crochet into each of those. So starting with the chain that's nearest to our double crochet, we're going to be inserting our first treble crochet. So yarn over twice, and we're going to bring our hook down, bringing our hook 
pointed down towards us, and then into that first chain, and pull through. Now this may feel a little bit weird, but it's just gonna feel a little funky for this first row, I promise, just because we're working into a chain and it's a little flimsy. So there's our first one. And as you see, we should have two chains left. So let's put one more into each. So yarn over twice. Into that following chain, we're gonna bring our hook down and then into that next chain. Yarn over, pull through, and then pull through two until we have one loop left on our hook. And we should have just one more left over. So yarn over twice into that last chain and pull through two until we have one loop left just like that and it's going to look a little funky for the first row because it's going to be a little bit lumpy but it should look something like this but once we have that we're going to continue to repeat those sets of stitches making our way all the way down until we have one chain left so let's just do this set once more so from here what we're going to do is yarn over twice Skip the following three chains and then into the fourth one. Insert with your first treble crochet. So we're going to skip one, two, three, into the fourth with one treble crochet. Into the following with another treble crochet. And like I said, they're worked in sets of three, so one more into the next. And now from here, we're gonna work into those three chains that we skipped over. So yarn over twice. Working into that first chain, we're gonna bring our hook down towards us, and then into that first chain with our first treble crochet. Should have two left, so yarn over twice again. Into that next chain, another treble. And then into that last chain that we skipped, another one. And now this is what it should look like. From here, we're gonna continue to repeat this, making our way all the way down until we have one chain left, and then I'll meet you guys back. So we've made our way all the way down our chain and we should have just one left. And since we need to close off this row, that's going to be just one double crochet into that last chain and then our row one will be all finished. And this is gonna be a two row repeat, so let's just get started on our row two. To work our way up to the row, we're going to chain three and flip our work. Now getting started on our row two or any of our even number rows, we're gonna start with four double crochets. So yarn over, we're gonna start by finding that first stitch from our previous row, which should be the top of that double crochet. And we're gonna insert our hook into there with our first double, and then do an additional three for a total of four. And now that we have our four double crochets, we're gonna get started with the texture portion. So we're gonna start with another yarn over of two, skip the following three stitches, and then into that fourth stitch. Insert with our first treble crochet, and like I said, they're worked in sets of three. So one treble crochet into each of the next two stitches for a total of three. So here are my three treble crochets. Now into those stitches that we skipped, we're gonna be working back into them, but instead of bringing our hook down towards us, our hook is gonna go behind our work. So what I like to do is take these three stitches that we need to work into and kind of flip them inside out so that you can see them along the back a little bit easier. So I'm gonna yarn over two, flip them along the back and find that first stitch that we skipped over. I'm gonna bring my hook down and into that stitch. And then do my first treble crochet. Now this is what it should look like and we should have two stitches left. So let's put one more into each of those. Yarn over twice, bring our hook to the back and then into that following stitch that we have. And then one more left to do, so yarn over twice, bring our hook to the back, and then into that last stitch. The last stitch may be a little difficult to see, but we're just gonna find that. Insert your hook into there, 
with our last treble crochet for this set. And this is what our work should be looking like. And we're going to continue to repeat that until we have four stitches left. So let's just do the set once more. You're going to start with a treble crochet. We're going to skip one, two, three stitches into that following stitch. It's going to go our first treble crochet and then one more treble crochet into each of the next two stitches for a total of three. Those are our three treble crochets. Now we're going to work back into those three that we skipped. So yarn over twice. I'm going to push these three towards the back and find that first stitch right here. Bring my hook back into that first stitch that we skipped over with our first treble crochet. And then we are going to have two stitches left over, so we're going to do the same thing for each of the next two. And that's that. We should have two sets all finished up. Now we're going to continue to do this until we have just four stitches left. All right, so we have just made our way all the way down, and we should have one, two, three, four stitches left. And we're going to close our second row off by putting one double crochet into each of the last four stitches. And that is the end of our row two. And from here, it's just going to be a repeat of row one and row two, making our way all the way up. So let's just get started on each of the rows together, just as a quick refresher. So we're going to get started on our row three. So start with a chain three and flip our work. Now each of our odd number rows is going to start with just one double crochet into the last stitch from our previous row. From here, we're going to skip one, two, three stitches into that following stitch and into the next two. So for a total of three, one treble crochet into each. And now that we have that, we're going to work back into those three stitches that we skipped. So yarn over twice, and now we're going to bring our hook down towards us, towards the front of our piece, and then put one front post treble crochet into each of those. And that's it. We're going to continue to do this until we have one stitch left. All right, so we're nearly finished with our row three, and for each of our odd number rows, we're just going to close our row off with one double crochet. And there's that. So let's just get started on our row four. So we're always going to start our rows off with a chain three and flip our work. And to get started on a row four or any of our even number rows, we're going to start with four double crochets. So yarn over and then insert your first double crochet into the top of that last stitch from our previous row, which should be the top of that double crochet that we just made. And then one more double crochet into each of the next three for a total of four double crochets. And now that we have our four double crochets, we're going to yarn over twice, skip the following three stitches, and then into the stitch right after that, plus an additional two, one treble crochet into each for a total of three. And now that we have those three, we're going to be putting one treble crochet into each of those stitches that we skipped, but now inserting our hook through the back. So just as a refresher, we're going to yarn over twice, push these stitches through to the other side, and then we're going to insert our hook into that first one with our first treble crochet, and then repeat the same thing for those two extra stitches that we have. And that's that. We're going to continue to repeat those sets until we have four stitches left. And now that we're at the end of our row four, to close off our row four or any even numbered stitch, we're going to do four double crochets into the last four stitches that we have available. So here's one, two, three, four. One double crochet is going to go into each. And that is our row four. Now from here, we're just going to continue to repeat our two previous rows until we get the height of the front panel that we want. So keeping in mind that we will have a bottom band and we do need to leave three inches that reaches all the way up to the top of our shoulder, we're going to continue on with those two rows and then I'll meet you guys back so we can get started on the shoulder band detail. All right, so I'm back with my front panel. I have a total of 24 rows and this length is just about 17 inches or 43 centimeters. And right after my last row, I did do a chain up of one and cut. Now we're going to do our shoulder band. So starting with my secondary color, I'm going to be inserting my hook into my top corner stitch, inserting my yarn onto our hook, pull through, and as always, chain one to secure. And from here, I'm just going to be putting one single crochet into every stitch until we reach the end. 
So just to do the first single crochet together, we're going to insert our hook into that first stitch. And if you'd like to weave in your tail ends at the same time, just place that tail end over that stitch that you just inserted your hook into. And then we're going to single crochet per usual. And now our tail end should be in the middle of that single crochet. So let's just do one more single crochet together. Inserting your hook into that following stitch. We're going to yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through both loops on our hook. And continue to do this until we reach the end of the row. And a really quick tip, this first single crochet row will be a little bit wavy because of the diagonal basket weave stitch that we were doing. But that's completely fine. It'll actually all even out once we add more rows. Alright, so our single crochet row is all finished up. And now we're going to do a half double crochet row back. So from here, all we're going to do is chain two and flip our work. And all we're going to do to get started on our half double crochet is yarn over, insert your hook into the last stitch from our previous row, pull through, and when we have those three loops on our hook, yarn over, pull through all three. And we're just going to continue to put one half double crochet into every stitch. So now that my half double crochet row is all finished up, we're going to get started on our first ribbing row, which is going to be front and back post double crochets. So from here to get started on our row three, we're just going to chain two and flip our work. So to do our first set of front and back post double crochets, we're going to yarn over. Now we're going to skip that first half double crochet that we have from our previous row because we want this edge to be nice and clean. And then we're going to insert our hook underneath the body of that following half double crochet. So we're going to skip this one. And then underneath the body of the following one, we're going to bring our hook underneath and through the other side. And from here, we're going to yarn over, pull through. And when we have those three loops on our hook, pull through two and pull through two. Now there's our front post double crochet. Now let's do our back. So starting with the yarn over again, we're going to bring our hook underneath our work now and then over that following half double crochet's body. So in through that gap, over that half double crochet, and then through the other gap. And from here, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, pull through two. And now we have a front and back post double crochet all finished up. And we're just going to continue to do this until we have one stitch left. So let's just do this again. Yarn over, underneath that following half double crochet's body, bring our hook through the other side, pull through, pull through two, pull through two. There's our front post. And then to do our back post, yarn over, bring our hook underneath our work now over that half double crochet through the other side and pull through. And from here, pull through two and pull through two. And then that's it. Continue to do our front and back post double crochets until we have one stitch left. So I've made my way all the way down with my front and back post double crochets. We've left that last stitch and we're going to do a half double crochet into that last stitch just so this edge can remain nice and blunt. So just yarn over. Insert your hook into the last stitch from our previous row and insert with just one half double crochet. And then from here, we just want to continue to extend our ribbing until we have roughly three inches or eight centimeters. So let's just get the following row started. That's always going to start with a chain two and flip our work. Now what we're going to do from here is do the stitch that our previous row looks like. So since my first stitch from our previous row looks like a back post double crochet, I'm going to be doing a back post double crochet into that stitch. Just like that. And then my following row looks like a front post, so I will be doing a front post double crochet as well. So we're going to yarn over, insert your hook underneath with a front post double crochet. And just as a reminder, that is to extend our ribbing just like that. And we're just going to continue to do this, extending our ribbing, until we reach the end of the row, making sure that we end the row with a half double crochet. And then from here, we're just going to continue to extend the ribbing until the shoulder band is just about three inches or eight centimeters. And then once what it is, do a chain up of one and cut. And then once we have that finished up, go ahead and make one more identical panel. All right, so I am back and I have just finished up my shoulder band and I have a total of seven rows. And now my total length is roughly 20 inches or 51 centimeters. And since this is our front panel, we're going to have to repeat everything we just did here, making one more identical panel. So once we have the second one finished up, I'll meet you guys back so we can get started on the back panel. All right, so now that both of our front panels are all finished up, the next thing we're going to do is our back panel. And as you guys can see, I have already finished mine up because it's going to be done pretty much the same way as the front panel, just a little bit wider because it needs to cover the entirety of your back. So I'm just going to talk you guys through it. 
So first things first, we're all going to need to start by making a chain that is again in multiples of six from our shoulder tip across our back to our other shoulder tip. Now a really quick tip that I have for you guys is the amount of chains that we're about to make needs to be a greater number than our two front panels combined. So just as an example, for one of my front panels, I made a total chain of 32. So since we made two of the same front panels, that's 32 plus 32, which is 64. Now the chain that we're about to make for our back needs to be a greater number than that because we need to keep a little gap in the middle for our neckline. So I have already figured out my number and I made a total chain of 72, which is a total width of 19 inches or 48 centimeters. Then after my 72 chains, we did our extra chain of two. That still counts as the base chain. And then we just continued on with our diagonal basket weave stitches with no increases and no decreases for the same amount of rows as our front panels. And then we also did the same shoulder band. We switched out our color, did our single crochet row, our half double crochet row, and then our front and back post double crochet rows for the same amount of rows as the front panel. Once we have this all finished up, I'll meet you guys back because we're going to need to clean up our edges. All right, so now that the entirety of my back panel is all finished up, the next thing we're going to do is clean up our edges along our back panel and both of our front panels. So I'm just gonna show you how we're going to do the first ones since it's gonna be done the same for every single panel. So I'm gonna start by inserting my hook into the top corner stitch of my shoulder band, and then I'm gonna grab that secondary colored yarn and insert that onto my hook. Now once when that's on our hook, we're gonna pull through and then do a chain up of one to secure. And then when it comes to working down our shoulder band, we're gonna be alternating between one to two single crochets into every side row. So let's just get this started. As you guys can see, this is my first side row right here. So I'm gonna find that top loop. I'm gonna insert my hook into there with just one single crochet, just like that. Now, from there, I'm gonna find my next side row, which this is mine right here, and then I'm gonna be inserting my hook into there with two single crochets. So there's one, and then into that same side row with my second single crochet. And we're just gonna to continue to do that until we reach our single crochet row right over here. So let's just do this one more time. Into that next side row, insert your hook with just one, and then into that following side row, insert your hook into there with two single crochets. Continue to do this, and then once we reach our side single crochet row, I'll meet you guys back just to show you guys how we're gonna be working into there and also how we're gonna be switching out our colors. So now that I've made my way all the way down with my single crochets, I still have that side single crochet row to work into. So we're gonna start off the single crochet for usual, so just insert your hook and pull through. Now once we have these two loops on our hook, we're gonna be switching out to our primary color yarn. And all we're going to do is place it onto our hook and then we're going to pull our primary color through our secondary color through both of those loops. And we're doing it this way so that we have a clean transition. But once we have that, we're going to cut our secondary color yarn and then tie our two tail ends together. All right, so now that I have tied my two tail ends together, all we're gonna do, working down the basket weave portion, is we're gonna be putting two single crochets into every side row now. So let's get this started. We're gonna find our first side row. This is mine right here and making sure that we're working with our primary color. I'm just gonna insert my hook into there with my first single crochet. And then also insert my hook into there with my second single crochet. And that's all I'm gonna do. So let's just do the following row and let you guys do the rest on your own. Into that following side row, insert your hook into that top loop with one single crochet, and then into that same top loop with a second single crochet. And that's it. We're gonna continue to do this, making our way all the way down. When we don't have any more side rows left to work into, do a chain up of one and cut. And then we're gonna repeat the same thing that we just did here on the other side of our back panel, and then on both sides of both of our front panels as well. Once we have all of that finished up, I'll meet you back so that we can seam everything together. All right, so I am back and I have just finished up single crocheting along the edges of all of my panels. And now what we're going to do from here is seam the shoulders together. So let's all start by placing one of our front panels on top of our back panel. 
and then we're going to be inserting our hook into the top corner stitch of both the front and the back. Now making sure that we're taking our secondary color yarn, we're going to insert that onto our hook. We're going to pull through and then do a chain up of one to secure. And then from here, we're just going to be doing a single crochet seam. So let's all start by inserting our hook into that first available stitch into the front panel and then into that next available stitch into the back panel. And then we're going to single crochet. Let's do that again. Into that next stitch into the front panel, insert your hook. Into the next stitch into the back panel, insert your hook and then single crochet and then that's it. We're going to continue to do this until we don't have any more stitches left to work into. And then when we don't, do a chain up of one and cut and then repeat everything we just did here on the other side. All right, so I am back and I have just finished up seaming both of my shoulders and now we're ready to seam our sides. So the first thing that we're gonna wanna do is insert our stitch marker into any stitch where we want our sleeve to start, making sure that it's in multiples of six. And remember when we made the base chain for our front and back panels, we are gonna need to add an additional two, just like how we added an additional two chains to the base. So once we have the amount of stitch that we need that's in multiples of six, we're gonna be adding one more stitch to that and that's gonna give us our two extra stitches, so one on the front panel and one on the back panel. So I wanted my sleeve to be just about eight and a half inches or 22 centimeters. So I inserted my stitch marker into the 31st stitch and that is including my extra stitch. And what we're gonna do from here is making sure the work is still flipped wrong side out. We're gonna be inserting our hook into the bottom corner stitch of both the front and the back panel and we're going to do the same single crochet seam all the way up to our stitch marker. So since we already know how to do the seam, what we're gonna do is insert our yarn onto our hook. We're going to pull through, do a chain up of one to secure, and just to do the first one, we're gonna find that first available stitch into the front panel and insert our hook. And then we're gonna find that next available stitch into the back panel, insert our hook into there, and then single crochet everything together. And that's it. We're gonna to continue to do this until we reach our stitch marker. Do a chain up of one and cut, and then repeat everything we just did here on the other side. All right, so now that everything is all seamed up, the next we're gonna do is our sleeves, and that's going to be done pretty much the same exact way as our front and back panel diagonal basket weave sections. So we're all gonna start by making sure that our work is flipped right side out, and then we're gonna be inserting our hook into the stitch that we have that's nearest to our side seam. What we're gonna do from here is insert our yarn onto our hook, pull that through, and then we're gonna start with a chain three. That doesn't count as a stitch, we just need the height. And this row one is gonna start off the same way as our row one did for our front and back panel. So all we're gonna do is start by putting one double crochet into that first stitch. And then from here, we're going to yarn over twice. We're gonna skip one, two, three stitches into the following three stitches, one treble crochet into each. And then once we have our three treble crochets, we're gonna be doing three treble crochets into the three stitches that we skipped. So yarn over twice, bring our hook down into that first skipped stitch right over here, and insert your hook into there with one treble crochet into each. And now that we have that, we're gonna to continue to do our set, making our way all the way around. We should end with just one stitch left. I'm gonna close it off with one double crochet with you guys and then get started on the following row. All right, so I've made my way all the way around with my first row and we should all have one stitch left. And into that last stitch is gonna be our double crochet. So this is the last stitch that I have. All I'm gonna do is yarn over into there insert with a double crochet and then we're going to need to slip stitch it into that third chain that we made when we started off this row so this is that chain three that we did when we got started and i'm just going to count one two three and then into that third chain we're going to slip stitch now what we're going to do from here is chain three and flip our work making sure that we are flipping our work so that we get the right texture and then we're going to repeat our row two so that's going to start with four double crochets And now that we have our four double crochets, we're gonna be skipping the next three stitches and then into the following three, one treble crochet into each. So skip one, two, three. 
And now that we have that, we're going to be working into those three stitches that we skipped, but now we're going to be working in through the back. And now that we have that set all finished up, we're going to continue to do this, making our way all the way around until we have four stitches left. All right, so now that our row two is nearly finished, we should have made our way all the way around and we should have one, two, three, four stitches left. And just like how we always end off our row two, we're gonna be putting one double crochet into each of the last four stitches. And that is that. Once we have our four double crochets, we're gonna slip stitch into that third chain that we made, just like how we closed off our previous row, and that's it. We're just gonna to continue to repeat our two previous rows until we get the sleeve length that we want, keeping in mind that we will have a cuff as well. So go ahead and get this all finished up and then I will meet you guys back. All right, so I am back and I am all finished up with the length of my sleeve. Now I have a total of 19 rows and this length is just about 15 inches or 38 centimeters. And I did do a chain up one and cut because we're about to get started on the cuff. So we're all gonna start by inserting our five millimeter hook into any one of the stitches that we have along the bottom of our sleeve. Now the next thing we're gonna do is insert our secondary color yarn onto our hook, pull through, do a chain up of one to secure, and all we're gonna do is do a decrease of two single crochets into every two stitches. So let's do the first few. So let's all start by finding that first available stitch. We're gonna insert our hook and pull through. And then we're gonna find that next available stitch yarn over and pull through. And when we have those three loops on our hook, we're gonna yarn over and pull through all three. Now that's our decrease, let's do another one. Find that next stitch and then insert your hook, pull through into the stitch right after that, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three. And that's it, we're just gonna continue to do this, making our way all the way around and then we're gonna slip stitch into that chain space. All right, so our single crochet row for our cuff is all finished up. And now just like how we did for the shoulder, we're gonna be doing a half double crochet row. So right after we slip stitch into that chain space, we're just going to chain two and then put one half double crochet into every stitch. All right, so we've just made our way all the way around with our half double crochet row, and now we're going to close it off together. So all we're gonna do is count up that chain two that we did when we started off this row. So here's one, here's two, and all we're gonna do is insert our hook into there with a slip stitch to connect it. And now, just like how we did for the shoulder, we're gonna be doing a bunch of front and back post double crochets. So since we already know how to do this, let's just do the first set together. It's gonna start with a chain two, yarn over, find the first half double crochet from our previous row, making sure that we're not working into that chain two, we're gonna insert our hook underneath with a front post double. And then we're gonna yarn over, find the next half double crochet, and then do a back post double. And that's it. Continue to do a front post and then a back post double, making our way all the way around, and then slip stitch into that second chain, and then I'll meet you guys back. All right, so now that our front and back post double crochet is all finished up, we've slip stitched into that second chain. And from here, we're just gonna continue to repeat this row until we get the length of the cuff that we want. So I'm just going to remind you guys how we're gonna get this started. So right after we slip stitch into that chain, we're gonna chain two, and then we're going to want to extend our ribbing. So since our first stitch was a front post double, we're going to do a front post double to extend that. And from here, we're just gonna alternate between a front post double crochet and a back post double crochet, making our way all the way around, and just continue to extend the ribbing until we have the length that we want. And then once we have the length that we want, do a chain up one cut, and then repeat everything we just did here on the other side. All right, so I am back and I have my cuff all finished up. Now I did a total of eight rows, and that's about three inches or eight centimeters, but once when I had that, I went ahead and did the same thing that I just did here on the other side, once you guys have yours all finished up, I will meet you guys back. All right, so now that both of our sleeves are all finished up, the next thing we're gonna start working on is our bottom band, and it's actually gonna be done the same way that our shoulder band is done. So I'm just gonna be talking you guys through it. So first things first, make sure that our work is flipped right side out, and we're gonna be inserting our six millimeter hook into the bottom corner stitch of the front panel. 
We are next going to insert our secondary color yarn onto our hook and pull through. From there, we're going to chain one and start with a single crochet row. So just make your way all the way across, putting one single crochet into every stitch until you reach this corner right over here, and then I will meet you guys back. So now that my single crochet row is all finished up, my following row is going to be a half double crochet row. So just start with a chain two, flip our work, and then put one half double crochet into every stitch until we reach this next corner. All right, and now that our half double crochet row is all finished up, we're next going to do rows of front and back post double crochets to get some ribbing and height for the bottom band. So I'm just gonna do the first set with you guys. At the end of our half double crochet row, we're gonna chain two and flip our work. Now from here, we're gonna yarn over preparing for a front post double crochet. We are going to skip the first half double crochet from our previous row because we want a clean edge. And then into the half double crochet body right next to that one, insert your hook underneath. We're gonna pull through, pull through two, pull through two. There's our front post double crochet. Now let's do our back post. And that's gonna start with the yarn over. We're gonna bring our hook underneath and then over the following half double crochet and through the other side. And then we're gonna pull through. From there, we're gonna pull through two, pull through two, and then that's it. We're gonna to continue to repeat our front and back post double crochets, making our way all the way around. Remembering that we are gonna close off this row with a half double crochet into the last stitch from our previous row to keep this edge nice and blunt. And then from there, we're gonna to continue to extend our previous row's ribbing until we get the height that we want our bottom band to be. Once we have that, do a chain up of one and cut, and then I will meet you guys back. All right, so I am back and I have just finished up my bottom band. Now, including my single crochet row, I have a total of eight rows and that's roughly five and a half inches or nine centimeters. And my bottom band is all finished. Now, the next thing we're gonna do is our front band and we're gonna have to start with a single crochet. The front band is gonna be done pretty much the same way as our bottom band and our shoulders. So let's just get this started. I'm going to be inserting my hook into the bottom corner stitch of my bottom band, and then I'm going to be inserting my secondary color yarn. Now, once when our yarn is through, we're gonna do a chain up of one to secure, and we should have just a handful of side rows to work into. So just like how we did the shoulders, we're gonna be alternating between one to two single crochets into every side row. So let's get that started. We're gonna find that first side row and insert your hook into there with just one single crochet. Find that next side row, insert your hook into there, with two single crochets. So there's one, and then there's two, and then that's it. From here, we're gonna continue on with that stitch sequence until we reach our side single crochet row. One single crochet is always gonna be worked into there, and then from there, we're just gonna single crochet, putting one single crochet into every stitch, making our way all the way up and around to this other corner right over here. Once we make our way down over here, I'll meet you guys back, just so I can remind you guys how we're going to do the front band. All right, so our single crochet row is all finished up for the front band, and just like how we did the bottom and the shoulders, we're gonna be doing a half double crochet row. So since we are along the bottom, all we're gonna do is chain two, flip our work, and then just make our way all the way back up and around, putting one half double crochet into every stitch. So now that our half double crochet row is all finished up, our following rows are going to be front and back post double crochet rows. Now it's gonna be done exactly the same way as our bottom band and our shoulders, so I won't bore you guys with those details, but all we're gonna do is continue on with our front and back post double crochet rows until we get a thickness that we want the front band to be. Once we do, go ahead and do a chain up of one and cut, and then I will meet you guys back. All right, so I'm back and I've just finished up the front band and I have a total of five rows, and this is just about two inches or five centimeters, and I'm all done. Now, the last thing we have to do is just weave in all of our ends. And there you have it. Hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. Join us on Instagram, Pinterest, or Twitter. Those links are down below. And don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Catch on the next one. Bye.